Hi everyone, welcome to the Book Den. It's been a while since I've recorded a video, but today we are doing a full read aloud session of my first book, Harriet Pat and Her Hat. So I'd like to introduce you to Harriet Pat here. She's a bit shy, so she's hiding behind her hair. But yes, Harriet Pat likes to help people. Rain or shine, night or day, she is always ready, come what may. So to everyone, Harriet Pat here is a hero, yay! But how can Harriet Pat teach other people that they can be heroes too? Let's go find out, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna put Harriet Pat down and I'm gonna get my book, Harriet Pat and her hat. You have a copy of the book. Go and get it so we can read together. Are you ready? Harriet Pat and her hat. For Dog Danny. Story by Daniel Celine Romanol and illustrations by Andre Nervita. There is a girl who has a one of a kind hat, and townsfolk call her Hattie Harriet Pat. She has the biggest and most colorful hat in town and she wears it going this and that way around. Not a day goes by that her hat is not on her head. She even wears it while sleeping in bed. Because Harriet Pat's hat is so big and colorful, you can even spot her in a room full of people. It has come to be known that Harriet Pat's hat is quite of use. Folks heard about it while talking on park pews. Harriet Pat's hat kept Mrs. Keoli from getting wet. It was rainy that day, and Mrs. Keoli was happy, you bet. Mr. Milanovic was saved during hot days. Harriet Pat's hat kept us Bay. The young Miss Mendoza was also full of thanks after she was saved from the muddy river banks. Ah, such wonders Harriet Pat's hat can do. It can even shield you from what the winds blew. Now everyone waits for Harriet Pat to come by, for every townsfolk believe that her hat answers every cry. Harriet Pat, being as helpful as she has always been, ferries all the townsfolk from sets to spins. Off she goes to help them hither and yon. Day in and day out, her hours have gone. Help! 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 Even at night, there is a cry or two. She cannot sleep. Her eye bags have turned blue. Help! Help! She looks around and her house is a mess. The dishes on the sink have turned into a fortress. Her flowers and herbs are withered and dry. The trash bin has invited horrible houseflies. Her clothes are scattered here and there. The mess she saw gave her quite a scare. This cannot go on, she said that night. This has to change by hook or by bite. She gathered all the townsfolk on the next morning and told them of her plans before they start calling. My hat will not always be there, she said, but you can have your own hat instead. The 
townsfolk whispered, muttered, and whined. But Harriet Pat said no and stood her grind. Amidst the noise, one voice asked, How? It was Miss Mendoza at the back of the crowd. Let me show you, Harriet Pat said with a smile. And all day she taught, making a hat of every style. Every man, woman, and child was making a hat. They learned to measure, cut, sew, and mat. When the sun set, every townsfolk has drawn their own one-of-a-kind happy hat on. Some hats are tall and some are wide. All are colorful with some having rabbits inside. Each went home with their special hat, one that they can wear, change, or tat. So Harriet Pat merrily left with her hat in tow. She can finally walk in peace tomorrow. On the next day, Harriet Pat went to town, happy to see everyone wearing their hats like crowns. The end. May you never forget to harness your own uniqueness. Remember, everyone is a hero. Harriet Pat and Her Hat by Danielle Celine Ramon.